Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to perform login validation and save the access token and refresh token in mobile storage. Now, if you remember that while we log in, we get this kind of JSON response. I have copied this JSON response and I have opened this site that is app.quicktype.io. I have pasted this JSON response here. I have given the model name as token model and it has generated the corresponding model class. Now here in the data folder, I have created a subfolder model. Here I have created a file named as token model and in this file, I have copied that entire code from this particular site and I have pasted it here. So our token model is generated. Now in provider, I have created a file named as my API provider. In this my API provider, I have created the object of DIO and here I have specified the base URL, connection timeout, receive timeout, the response type and the content type. And here I have created a method login which is taking a map object and here in the try block by using this DIO object, I am calling the post method and in, the, in, in this post method, I am calling this login API. And to this login API, I am passing the data which is stored in this map. If everything is okay, it will return token model from JSON. This token model from JSON, I am getting from this token model class. If you can see here, this token model from JSON is there, which is taking a string. And from here, I am calling this token model from JSON and whatever response we are getting that I am converting to string and I am passing to this particular function. And if any error occurs, then this DI exception block will execute. Here I'm checking if the response dot status code is 401. This means the user has provided invalid credential and I'm returning it as future dot error. Else means if the status code is not 401, then it will return internal server error. And inside the catch block, I am returning the exception which is generated. After that, here I have created a repository folder and inside that I have created a file named as a repository dot dot. And inside this class here, I have created the instance of my API provider and to the constructor of this repository, I am passing the instance of the my API provider. And inside this repository class, I have created a login method, which is taking a map and what it is returning, it is returning future of token model. And this method is actually calling the login method, which I have created inside the my API provider. If you can see here inside the my API provider, this login method it is also returning the future of token model. Now I'm going to the roots folder in the roots folder in app roots you can see I have created a root named as login and inside the app pages folder here I have created a variable initial and having the initial value as roots dot login inside the roots array I have created this login root in the page I have passed login view and in the binding I have passed login binding now if I go to main dot dot then in the main dot dot in the initial root, I have specified app pages dot initial. This means whenever I will launch it, then the login screen should open. And inside the main method, you can see here I have used of it get storage dot in it. I am using this get storage to store the values locally in the mobile device. And for that, I am using that get storage plugin. Let me show you in the pubspec.yml. Here I have used this get storage. Now inside the modules folder here, I have created a subfolder login where I have created three files binding login controller and login view. Now, if I go to login binding, then inside the dependencies method here, I have used get dot put and then here I have used login controller and to the constructor of the login controller, I am passing a repository and to this repository, I am passing my API provider because this repository constructor is taking the my API provider instance. So I have written like this. Now let me move to login view. In the login view here, I have created a simple design 
which contains two text field the first text field is for writing the user name and the second text field is for writing the password and here i have created a elevated button and whenever this button will be pressed at that time i am calling the validate login method which is defined inside the login controller because here you can see in the get view i have passed login controller now for the first text field in the controller here i have passed controller dot username controller and for the second text field in the controller i have passed controller dot password controller now let me move to login controller in the login controller if you can see here i have used or i have created the repository instance and to the constructor of the login controller i am passing the instance of this repository after that i have created the instance of get storage and i have created the object of two text editing controllers one is username controller and another one is password controller and that i am using in the login view here you can see that for this text field i am using controller dot username controller that is this one and for the password i am using controller dot password controller which is this one now i need to dispose this text controllers so i have disposed that inside the close method by using username controller dot dispose and password controller dot dispose now here whenever the login button will be clicked at that time this validate login function will be called which i have created here now in the validate login whenever this function will be called at that time i have called full screen dialog loader dot so dialog because the login process will take some time and till the login validation is happening i need to show the dialog loader that's why i have called this method and this full screen loader i have discussed in the previous class that it has been created inside the utils folder now i have created the object of map and here i am passing two keys one is username another one is password to the username i am passing username controller dot text and to the password i am passing password controller dot text this means whatever i am writing to the username text box and password text box that will be assigned as a value to the username key and to the password key now by using the repository i am calling the login method and to this login method i am passing this data now i am using dot then value now this value will contain actually the token model since the processing is done i need to cancel the dialog and after that to the get storage what i am doing i am using the write method and here i have used get storage key dot access token this get storage key is a class which contains all the keys so for the access token key i will store the access token which has been retrieved from the server and that we can fetch by using value dot access token because the value is of type token model and the token model contains this access token similarly i have stored the refresh token as well and if there is any error at that time also i need to close the cancel dialog and i have used the custom snack bar dot so error snack bar in the context i have passed get dot context in the title i have passed error and in the message whatever is stored in error that will be printed this means if the user is providing the wrong credential then this error will contain invalid credentials if you remember here let me show you in the my api provider here if it is 401 then in the future dot error i have specified invalid credential and if it is not 401 then it will be internal server error so here in the error either invalid credential will be stored or internal server error will be stored so if the user is providing wrong credential then in the message we will get invalid credential and in the catch block again i have cancelled the dialog and in the custom snack bar i have passed that context title and in the message i have passed something went wrong now let me run the project and let me show you the output now i have run the project and this is the output which we are getting now to the username suppose here i am passing abc and in password i am passing 123 now if i hit on login then it is displaying the message invalid credential 
now let me provide the correct username and password the correct username is tom and the password is one two three four five six seven now if i click on login now this means the login is successful and it has been stored to the local storage now let me give a message here also let me copy this paste it here and instead of so error snack bar i will use so success snack bar and in the message here let me give login valid let me save this now let me give correct username and password click on login then you can see we are getting the message login valid this means this block is executing and it has stored the access token and the refresh token in the local storage that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching